Today I'm going to persuade you to support the arts in schools. Many people believe that the arts are just another part of our education system, taken for granted and even looked over. However, it has been proven that these activities do these students a great service to their education. I would like to have the opportunity to convince you that the arts are much more than just extracurricular activities and electives. To these students and to past students, they live and breathe these activities and take them seriously and devote much of their free time to them. Not because they have to, but because they want to. According to Why the Arts Are Important by Dee Dickinson, there are seven reasons why the arts are important. Here they are. One, art is a language that everybody can understand. This is not only limited to visual arts, but also musical arts as well. For example, opera. It may be in a foreign language, but because of the actions behind the music, it is universally admired and watched. Two, art is not an opportunity for self-expression. Three, participation in the arts help to develop independence as well as collaboration. Four, art makes it possible to convey something complex in a very simple way. Five, participation in the arts has been proven to improve academic achievement. For example, test scores, attitudes, social skills, and critical and creative thinking. Six. It also exercises and develops higher order thinking skills, i.e. critical and creative thinking. Finally, seven, the arts provide means for every student to learn, no matter what their learning level is. <clears throat> According to www.americansforthearts.org, Students who are involved in the arts are three times more likely to be elected to class office and or win an award for attendance. Also, four times more likely to be recognized for academic achievement and or participate in math and science fairs. In a book called Studio Thinking, The Real Benefits of the Visual Arts Education, the author states, students who study the arts seriously are taught to see better to envision, to persist, to be playful and learn from mistakes, to make critical judgments and justify such judgments. <coughs> Participation in the arts is not just for students. It is also for the parents as well. This is not about funding, but about sharing your child's passion and supporting it and enjoying it with them. According to www.americansforthearts.org, these are just some of the ways you can get involved with your child at home and at school. 1. Participate. Read, sing, and dance with them at home or get involved and go to practices or even help chaperone trips. 2. Support. Let them know you are proud and encourage their creativity. 3. Speak up. Pass the word around to let everyone know when your child is going to be in a play or music event. Even speak up at a PTO meeting if you don't think that the program your child is in is getting the attention and funding they deserve. <clears throat> to help persuade you, I conducted a mini survey amongst the teenagers that I work with. Here are the results that I found. These students are involved in course and theater, sometimes even both. All of them were 11th or 12th graders. I asked them if they think it's hard for them to get funding for the programs. They said yes, because they are not taking seriously. They also feel that they are overlooked for sports when it comes to funding, and they feel that is unfair because they put much time and effort into these programs, and they love doing them as well. I also asked them how they would feel if the school system cut their program. Here are some of the answers that they shared. One student said, quote, terrible, they would literally cry, theater is my life. Another one said, I would die. And then one said, horrible. These are just a few of the kids that could be faced with this if people don't start supporting the arts. This isn't just about another class to them, it is what they are passionate about. 
Coming from a background in the arts, I know exactly how they feel. <clears throat> in conclusion, I hope that I have persuaded you to support the arts in schools. It is a very important cause, especially when budgets are so tight for schools right now. The arts are among the first to get cut, so they need all the support they can possibly get. So once again, please do the kids a favor and support the arts in schools. To do this, some of the organizations that you can go to are www.dosomething.org and also www.americansforthearts.org as well. And you can sign petitions, even donate money if you want to. So thank you, and I hope you support the arts.